All right, I have a Rationale Combi Oven that's giving us service 25, and it's not allowing us to clean the oven. So you can see here, clean jet not available, cooking possible. All right, so let's go to our service 25 here. So the motor does not detect water. So the reasons why the water tap might be closed, the clean jet pump might be defective, dirt is blocking the drain, foreign particles in the clean jet pipe, foreign particles at the outlet of the clean jet pipe, uh, motor going into error, which we're not getting. Drain valve does not close correctly. So what that means is the drain valve is not closing correctly. So there's no water at the actual clean jet pump. And you want to check the closing and opening time of the drain valve. And then to clear the error, you want to run a clean jet program. So we're going to go ahead and go through all this really quickly. All right, so let's go to our function test and get our going to clean jet. First thing we're going to do is close the drain valve. Okay, we want to make sure this is closed or else the water's going down the drain and the clean jet pump has nothing to move. So there we're at number one, we're good. Next thing we're gonna do is dump, dump water down the drain. Let's fill up that drain box. <coughs> and then we're just gonna make sure the drain valve's closed so there should be no water coming out of the drain pipe here. Take a close look at that. Not the best camera angle there, but there's no water coming out of the drain here. Next thing we're going to do is run our M6 clean jet pump. And this should bring water from that drain box underneath the oven into the cavity. Uh, there's no water coming through whatsoever. So the next thing we're going to do is do a voltage test. Let's see if we have voltage at the load here. We do have voltage at the load. Okay, we do have water at the clean jet pump. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open the drain valve. And this is gonna tell me if we held the water. And as you can see, there's tons of water coming out of here, which means that clean jet pump should have been pumping everything up. Lots of water coming out of there. I'm going to take the uh, this hose off of the clean jet pump. I'm going to make sure there's no restrictions in this uh, piping that's going up into the oven cavity. So let's pull this off right here. Kind of get a better look at it here. And what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to blow nitrogen through the uh, tubing here or through the piping. I'll set my reg around 50 to 75 psi. We don't got to go too crazy. And I'll rig it up so that the uh, nitrogen's flowing while I'm inside the cavity to see if there's full flow. So let me just rig it up here. You can use anything here, compressed air, whatever you want. And we have full flow coming out into the cavity. So there is no restriction in that in that piping coming from the clean jet pump into the cavity. Great flow here. So I'm going to go ahead and change out this clean jet pump. We have power there, we have water there, it is not pumping up. So there's just like a 10 millimeter bolt here and then this little bracket slides off. And then once we do that, we're just going to disconnect some hoses and the thing slides right out really good design on how this thing comes out and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit fast forward here so I'm just gonna take off the uh, the hose clamps and disconnect the tubing 
and the pump's going to drop out from the bottom. That's the second hose there. Pull that guy off. And then our pump is just going to drop down and then I'll pull it out from behind the oven. <coughs> Slide this hose off. We're ready to pop her out. All right, so I'll hit fast forward here once again, and yeah, I'll pull it out from behind. Just pay attention to the angle of the hoses. We want everything to go back on the same angle. And I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to flush out these hoses in the sink here. Just make sure there's no obstruction in any of those. There wasn't much in there. And we're ready to pop this guy back in. And we'll just hit fast forward. So yeah, we're just repeating all the steps and just going backwards. So I'm going to tighten this up with a 10 millimeter wrench. The pump's all tight. Clamps are all on. And we're going to go back to that same clean jet function test we're going to get our error code and we're going to do the same thing again we're going to close this drain valve and then we're going to add water down the drain and let's see if it pumps up so same steps that we were doing earlier so let's dump the water in make sure she's not pumping out of the drain here it's good that drain valves holding <coughs> and let's go ahead and test our pump here and you can see we have full flow here I'm just going to uh, let me get a bit closer let me let me shine a light on this just so we can see a little bit better <coughs> and we have full flow as you can see we, had, we didn't even have a drop earlier all right so that pump was cooked all right now I'm just gonna quickly make sure there's no leaking from any of the tubing the tubing was a little bit greasy so let's just make sure none of that was compromised when I took it all apart we're all good, we're dry, there's no leaks. And then we're going to open up our drain valve. You're going to see all the water is going to come out now. You can see the dirty water now, now that we're kind of moving water within the cavity. So we're going to go do a clean jet function test here. So I was getting stopped at two minutes earlier. Okay. So that's when the pump is actually running during the uh, this function test. And we'll just hit fast forward here. And if we complete it, we get a little check mark here, which is good. If not, you'd get a yellow exclamation mark. So we've cleared that error code now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to scrape out as much of this debris out of here so that it doesn't get stuck in my drain valve and clog up the drain and everything like that scrape out as much as I can here and I'm gonna go do a clean test now the stores asked that I do a complete clean test so it's asking for five of the cleaner tabs and four of the care tabs so we're gonna put them in there and we're gonna run a medium clean cycle and let's see what happens here okay we've completed it we did not get any error codes which is good. That means our cleaning is now working. So I'm just gonna quickly go check here and make sure that all those uh, cleaning tabs dissolved, all five of them, they've all dissolved, which is good. That means we're getting good pressure from the clean jet pump there. And you can see the oven is very clean compared to what it was before. So what a difference there. So we're all good there. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up the oven in steam mode and we are firing up here we're heating in steam mode i'm going to go to dry heat mode the reason why i'm doing this 
is I could have disconnected a wire or anything, so it's just good habit to run the unit. Now this unit has two heat exchangers, so you want to make sure both heat exchangers are heating, and in this case they are both heating. All right, we had an oven there that hadn't been cleaned in over two weeks just because I was waiting on approval for that pump. Um, so if I could have gone back and changed something, I would have probably ordered those hoses too. They're pretty, not the best condition, uh, but they are holding. So going forward in the future, definitely I'll be changing those hoses out. And uh, I used the really basic uh, service manual and it was able to get me to where I needed to go. But there is a troubleshooting tree so in case we wouldn't have had voltage to that pump, there's a whole troubleshooting tree that Rationale has written and it's written very well and it's very detailed. Uh, I did go to the basic troubleshooting kind of Service 25 uh, breakdown first and I was able to resolve the issue with that so I didn't have to go to that troubleshooting tree.